Hello there. Uh, today I'm just going to talk about uh, Chrome Remote Desktop. The reason why I want to talk about it is I've been using TeamViewer to log into my workplace to work from home during this uh, Corona season. Now, after a while using TeamViewer, if you've got the free version and you've been logging to work, you may get blocked uh, because you're using a business, uh, using it as a business. So if that's the case and you don't want to pay for the subscription, um, you can use alternatives like uh, Chrome Remote Desktop, which I'm using now. Now the issue with Chrome Remote Desktop, um, if you've installed it and had a look at it, is that if you have dual screens at work, which most of us do now, is that you will get a screen like this when you log in. This is quite inconvenient because it's quite small and you cannot put these screens individually onto a physical monitor you have at home. So I find the best option to do this and I've had a look around the internet and there's not many answers. So I've decided to do this video for you guys. The best way to do this, and I'll show you right now. So right now I have two screens right here, my home screen and just an, uh, another screen opened up with um, that's extended and has a uh, file explorer open. Best way to do it is move to your right over here. You'll see a little blue arrow right here. Click on it. Here you'll see a few options. So down here, you'll have show all displays. Now you can switch between displays by clicking this, but it's very inconvenient. Okay, so <laughs> you can show one display at a time, but every time you want to change, you need to go into this menu and click it again. So you don't want to do that. So you want to change these options here. Make sure show all displays is selected. Then you want to hit full screen. Turn off scale to fit. Turn off resize to fit. You can choose to turn this on or off depending on the quality of your connection. I normally just turn it off because I find it's a bit smoother turning it off actually. Once you've done that, you can close the screen by doing that. Now you can see that I have my screen as one single screen right now. The trick to changing it is move your mouse to the edge of the screen and hold it there. It'll slide across. Here you can see my second screen. Now the best thing about this, I'll slide back here and back again. So you can see it's quite easy. It's not hard at all. Just move to the edge and hold your mouse there and it'll slide all the way. Don't move your mouse away while it's sliding because then you'll only get half the screen. Also another convenient thing to do is you can also move whatever object from one screen to the other. So if you grab this folder here and I move it to the edge, hold on to it, there we go. It's moved onto the other screen. Now, so that I find that's quite convenient and, and, and hopefully that solves a lot of people's questions that I find uh, that I had myself. Because uh, I had this question for a few days. I had a look on the internet. It was very hard to find the answer. But a bit, bit of fiddling and, and this is what I came up with. So this is probably the best way right now to move between screens on Chrome Remote Desktop. So I hope that helps you guys, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.